Edmonton, <laughs> Edmonton, St. Louis, Evan Bouchard, Bouchard, over two and a half shots plus money. I texted you and you were very surprised. Tied with McDavid and Dreisaitl in shot attempts in Edmonton and yeah. one fewer shots in goal than both of those two. Minutes, it, his role's increasing. He's coming off a six-shot game. Jay Woodcroft, so this is like a 24-year-old rookie, young defenseman here, not a rookie, but Jay Woodcroft scaled his role back earlier in the season, and now he played 21 minutes in the last game, so a little bigger role, and to you, not all players respond well with taking away minutes, but the former 10th overall pick, Oakville-born D-man, could be breaking out Ooh. as Wood. Has Woodcroft motivated this young defenseman possibly? I think so. I mean, uh, a a little bit of a reality check to start the season. I think coming in, you know, off the season he had last year and with all the expectations in in Edmonton this year and how they could pile the net up with goals, sometimes you tend to lose your focus as a young D-man because you're so focused on offense that he was getting exposed defensively. And I think that's why – the coach there was trying to scale it back again and just trying to get him to slow his game down because ultimately as a young player, you know, the more you let come to you, the more, the more uh, offensive opportunities you find yourself getting because you're not let, you're not getting out of your structure. You're not chasing the play. You're not trying to force something that's not there. You're playing on instincts. And that's what Bouchard is really, really good at. And especially in the offensive zone, you know, the, the instinctual plays that he shows is anytime the puck comes low to high, he just focuses on getting those quick little wristers to the net. It's not necessarily those big wind-up slap shots. And as a defenseman, those are the best ways to, you know, to, to factor in on the offense because nowadays you don't just have to worry about beating the goalie. You have to worry about beating the first and second layer of guys coming out with you blocking shots. So the quicker you can get them away – you know, the, the better chance you have to get them to the net or around the net. So, um, you know, good on Woodcraft for, for you know, pulling them aside and, and you know, taking this stance with them early. Because, look, he's a big part of their defense. I mean, the growth that he's shown with the way this team wants to play, especially with those, you know, players like McDavid and, and, and Dreisel, your job as a defenseman They're is hoping he, leap, he, leaps, uh, he leaps over Tyson Berry in – Right. Uh, right, yeah. Right. So – and, you, you know, what you pointed out, too, the fact that he has been, you know, um, attempting those shots a lot more lately. I, I look at this game as a revenge game for Edmonton. And here's why. They played on the weekend in Edmonton. St. Louis walked in and completely shut them out. Both on Our Early power play goal. goal and then nothing. Nothing after sides, that. It was game. a 2 nothing game. So now this That's game is back game. in St. Louis. Yes, Edmonton's coming off of a really impressive home win the other night against Pittsburgh where they put six on the scoreboard, but it was six goals that didn't have Connor McDavid factored in any one of them. So you it, you, you can't think that Edmonton's going to get shut out again. They're probably going to, you know, want a better effort, carry on that, that, that sort of growth that they found in the last game with their offense. And with Bouchard and the way he can move the puck and the way he can generate that type of offense, this looks like a very exciting spot for him. 